Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out five of the best planes in Stormworks. Now these aren't necessarily the best planes altogether, but they are very, very good, and I think they deserve some recognition, so you guys should definitely check them out. Uh, there are, of course, a lot more than five planes in this game, so obviously not all of them will be included. However, hopefully the few that I do choose, you guys will also enjoy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the first one. Let's go. Okay, so starting off with this thing right here, this is the KJ-74 Kishi, uh, and it was built by Carnival. Now, Carnival has come out with a lot of jets since, one of them being the Viper, which is a VTOL, which is kind of why I'm not having the Viper be this one um, on the list, because, honestly, the Viper is a VTOL, and maybe that should be on a different list by itself. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump inside this thing. It was in one of my previous videos, where I think I named it the best jet in Stormworks. I don't know whether that's necessarily true, but it is definitely one of the best. So, let's jump inside and see if it still flies after the update. Okay, so we're in the inside, let's go ahead and start up the engines, there we go. Uh, and this thing should start up pretty quickly and we should be able to get into the sky uh, again very quickly. If I remember correctly, this thing was extremely reactive uh, and agile and absolutely decimated the things that we actually shot at. Uh, and yes, it does have a lot of rockets on it. Or a lot of missiles, I guess. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves going. We're just going to go ahead and floor it. Uh, and hopefully we will take off. And there we go. Very easy, right? Very, very easy. Anyway, where's the landing gear? We need to lift that up. And there we go. Landing gear is going to fold up. Very nice. Unfortunately, on takeoff, we have actually managed to damage our front landing gear. But that's okay. Don't worry about that too much. Okay, so showing you guys how agile this thing actually is, let's go ahead and do a bit of a barrel roll. Three, two, one, go. Whee! There we go. Look at that. That was pretty cool. Let's do a loop. There we go. Honestly, it turns very quickly. It does. It rolls even quicker. So if we go ahead and do a roll, whee! Again, not like terribly fast, not crazy, but definitely stable, which is lovely. Anyway, let's go ahead and have a little cycle through these. We've got an AGM. Uh, is that a ZE? I think that says ZE. Uh, let me go ahead and read the weapons list. Okay, uh, weapons list on the uh, on the workshop, not really existent uh, as much as they usually are, but that's okay, don't worry about that. Anyway, this is a short range missile and we have six of them. Uh, we actually have a picture of it right there, so if you have a little look underneath the wings, you'll see that they are right here. They are radar guided and they are cool. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything to shoot at right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and launch them and hope for the best. So in order to launch missiles, we just press one and there they go, there's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. There we go, they're all gone. The next thing we need to launch is this, the AIM 9G medium. All right, here we go. One, two, oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, why are the trails on those so big? That's crazy. All right, we had four of those and they are all now gone. The last thing that we have is this. Hold on, let me go ahead and cycle through this. It is an R27 TE long, so I guess long range. Uh, and they are the big ones right there. Let's go ahead and fire those off. Three, two, one. There's one gun, and there is two. Excellent. I think that one might be tracking the first one. Not sure. But that isn't the end of our weaponry on this thing. We actually have a gun. So if we want to go ahead and shoot that, here we go. And there it is right there. That is the one that's shooting. I think this is just for looks. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I might have accidentally landed it in the water there. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool plane. You guys should definitely give it a look. Um, and go ahead and have a little look at the rest of Carnival's stuff as well. Because all of it is is nice. All of it's very nice. I feel bad that I crashed it now. I really do. <laughs> I feel so bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the next one. Feeling like there's no one other than you 
Okay, so this one might surprise some people, but it might also not surprise many people at all because I use this vehicle quite a lot. Now, I'm giving you guys some hints as to what it is by these things right here. This is, of course, the Airbus A400M cargo plane by Carbon. Now, Carbon actually came up with a bunch of things to put in the back of this thing. Uh, I believe the submarine could actually be pushed out of this thing, uh, and it was really cool. You could aerial refuel with it as well. There is actually drogue thingamabobbies right there. Um, and yeah, you could do aerial refueling, which I ended up trying to do, I believe, between about three of these, trying to attach them to each other. So obviously you can aerial refuel it, and you can aerial refuel things from it. Really, really cool. Anyway, let's go and jump inside this thing, have a little fly around, and yeah, just have a little mess around with it. Okay, so this is the cargo bay right here. Honestly, this is a really big part of this, and I didn't even notice when I was playing with it. Uh, all of the stuff on the walls, there's actually parachutes right there, there's first aid kits and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I was gonna say it might be before the update where they actually added the real ones of those things, but I don't think that's true. I don't know. I can't remember the update for the parachutes and stuff. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go up here. No, there is parachutes. There you go. So I don't know why there's parachutes there and there's parachutes painted on the walls. Not sure. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go into here, close the sliding door, uh, and try and figure out how to turn this thing on and get going again. Okie dokie, so engines are on. Let's go ahead and increase the collective slightly, if we can, and turn to the side before we actually just floor it and take off. Hopefully we can do that. Here we go, floor it. And I might have broken it slightly on takeoff again, unfortunately. Uh, but we are in the skies. There you go. Landing gear is going to come up. Hopefully. The front one might be a little bit broken, which uh, is again my fault. Maybe that's a thing with me. Maybe I break all of the front landing gear on all of the planes that I test out. Not sure. Anyway, we're in the sky in this four-engined beast, and we are flying around. This thing might be as agile as the previous jet. <laughs> um, maybe not quite, but yes, it is very, 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 very agile. Uh, and it flies really nicely, which is awesome. Uh, especially with something this big. Uh, I think it actually flies really well. Also, side note, it is actually very easy to fly as well, so like, it's not necessarily a thing of it's really good to fly, it's just very easy to fly, which some planes aren't necessarily that. Also, it looks really good, um, it is a little bit boxy, I will admit that, but I think it, it still works, it still works. Also, it is worth mentioning, this plane is like two years old, so yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, if I just read off some of the things that you could actually drop out of this thing, it had an airdrop crate, it had a wide vehicle cart, it had a normal vehicle cart, a cargo platform, it had a generator container, it also had a military rib, so you could actually drop a boat out of this thing, it had a Coast Guard heli, I guess, that's crazy, it had a another rib? Really? Question mark? Yeah, it had another rib. Okay. Uh, it then also had a cargo radio container, an airdrop controller, and an airdrop uh, crate. So it had lots of things that you could drop out of it. Apparently, the submarine isn't one, but that's okay. Yeah, that's insane. That is actually really, really cool, though, uh, and I'm glad that I have come back to this. Unfortunately, again, we have ended up in the water, but yeah, a very, very cool creation, nevertheless. I don't want to keep banging on about it, but yes, these are just a few of the things that I've selected. It doesn't necessarily mean they're the best in the game, because I know I'll get comments where it's like, I know a plane better than that one, which, you know what, you might do. But these ones, I really enjoyed, and I think you guys would very much enjoy playing with them too.
Okay, so judging by those error messages on the side, we have something big. Yes, we do. So this is the third plane that we're going to be looking at today. It was built by Ender Pilot. Honestly, again, anything built by Ender Pilot is usually pretty good. Uh, and specifically, the planes. I don't know whether they build anything else other than planes. But this right here is the Ender A380. And I've used this multiple times. I've even turned it into a pickup truck once. A pickup truck? A pickup plane? I, I took all of the seating out and I made it a flatbed. Uh, and we actually transported vehicles with it. It was really fun. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump inside this thing. We will take off and we'll have a little fly around in this too. Okay, so it is worth mentioning this plane is also about a year old. So if it doesn't work quite right, uh, that could be the case. Oh, that could be the issue. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and try and take off with this thing now. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to go ahead and do it. We don't need the taxi lights. Logo lights would be cool. Strobe lights, sure. Seat belts on. No smoking. We're going to do cabin lights and off we go. Yes, yeah, so hopefully I don't break the landing gear on this one. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we are actually flying. Landing gear up. And there we go. This is crazy. It looks like an orca as well. Just a side note. I think that's really, really fun. Oh, I've broken the front landing gear again. And the rear landing gear is actually broke too this time. Interesting. That is probably my bad. Probably. Okay, so unfortunately for us, uh, the takeoff has actually seemingly damaged uh, a bunch of the components, and I can't actually control it from this seat. What I can do, though, is cut the engines a little bit, so that we hopefully go down. Because <laughs> at the minute, we are going spatial status and might end up on the moon. Who knows? Okay, I thought it was only fair that we actually get to actually fly it properly, so I've gone ahead and started again, and already our front landing gear is slightly broken. Uh, but I don't think it's as broken as it was. So, yeah. Anyway, landing gear up. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it goes up properly this time. There we go. Very nice. And it did fold in this time. Very good indeed. Uh, and the front one has also gone in too. So there you go. It, uh, it does actually work. Uh, what I did was turn the physics detail down slightly. And that has allowed it to actually fly properly. Which is good. Yeah. But yeah, as you guys can see, it is essentially an A380, and uh, it has two decks, as you guys can see. Um, and you can actually walk through both of those. So what we'll do is we'll actually put an altitude in of like 1,000. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that on. There we go. Hopefully that works. And then we'll go backwards. We'll have a little look around. And hopefully that'll be good. Okay, so uh, I'm out of my seat whilst it's moving, which is uh, kind of scary in Stormworks, not gonna lie, if you guys haven't played the game before. Uh, getting out of your seat while something's moving, sometimes a very bad idea. Anyway, economy is downstairs, and essentially it's a bunch of these seats like this one. Uh, we will actually run backwards to show you guys all of the seats. There is many. Oh, there are many. Lots and lots of seats. I believe this is a crew rest area at the back. Uh, it's not. Okay, never mind. First class toilets, okay. First class toilets on that side as well. And then we've got all of the first class upstairs too. So yeah, you can see all of these. Rows of twos, very, very interesting and very cool. In here, we've actually got a bar upstairs too. And then we've got a, whoa, residence. So they've got like a living room type deal and a bed. Uh, and then the same on that side as well. A living room and a bed. Kind of cool. I mean, that's actually kind of crazy. Um, but yes, you have a bunch of seats. So if you want to transport a bunch of people, this might be, maybe, the plane for you. Okay, the waypoint that I actually put in for this thing is behind us. So I think it's about to start turning and going crazy. Yeah, it's turning around. So it will actually loop on the axis. The autopilot still works, which is nice. Um, and yeah, it actually still flies, even with the new update. So that's really good. Really, really good. Again, you guys should definitely give this a try. It was built by Ender Pilot, and any of the end airplanes are very awesome. I could have picked any of them. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. Okay, so, uh, this might not be a plane you expected to see. Uh, or maybe it was a plane that you expected to see. 
But anyway, this is the OV-10A Bronco Fire Attack, uh, made by Sir Motek. Uh, honestly, this thing is not something I've flown, which might surprise you again. Uh, however, I have actually messed around with the military version of this thing, and I really enjoyed it. So, let's go ahead and get inside. It is a two-seat plane, and uh, we should be able to fly this relatively easily. So let's go ahead and turn it on together. In fact, how do I actually close the... <laughs> how do I close the thingy? The door? I need to figure that out too. Uh, I also need to actually turn on the batteries. Batteries, avionics, generator. Okay. Engines are starting. Canopy is six. There we go. That closes that up. And we are pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and just floor it. There we go. So yeah, anything Sir Motak makes, pretty much good. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I will link I will link this plane down below, and you guys should definitely check out the rest of Sir Motak's stuff as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lift up the landing gear. There you go. It folds in. The doors close. And yeah, it's just streamlined. It's awesome. It flies. It flies very nicely. And it looks good too. Amazing. So yeah, like I said, there is actually a military version of this plane, and uh, you guys should check that out as well. Uh, however, this is the one that we currently have, and the thing that I need to show you guys on it... We are currently falling out of the sky. Let me go ahead and turn. There we go. What is that? I see some red eyes or red redness down there. Can you guys see that? There's a light. I think that might be the Meg's eyes. I think we've just spotted the Meg. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and return back. And this might be the first plane that we actually attempt to land. Uh, which is very much interesting. So let's go ahead and turn sideways. We'll have to lower the landing gear again, obviously, uh, and we'll we'll attempt to land it. Uh, but there is a small cargo hold on this thing that I do want to show you guys. So, yes, let's head back. Okay, so apparently it has flares. So let me go ahead and press that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just fire loads, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and yeah, they are getting dumped down below. I guess you can start fires with this thing, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, landing gear is going to go down, and parking brake is actually going to go on, which seems odd. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. Let's see if we can actually still land a plane in this game. The saving game thing has been in the top left corner this whole time as well. So if that's annoyed anybody, I am sorry. I am so very sorry. Okay, here we go. We're going in for a landing. Oh, we've slipped over on one side and lost all of our propellers. And we might have set ourselves on fire. But again, not a problem with the plane. More a problem with me. Ah! Yes, so that might have been a bit of an oopsie moment, but it's okay. So if we run to the back end, I think I can still show you guys. There is a latch right here. You can put cargo in there. You can put cargo in there. And that is essentially um, what you need to do with this thing. That's it. Okay, this is the last plane, and you guys might be thinking, why are you staring at the water? Well, if we have a little turn around, da -da 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 -da, we have this. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite planes in this game, and this is a Boeing 314 Yankee Clipper, and it was built by Talas. Now, honestly, uh, any of Talas's planes, or vehicles in general, uh, they're all excellent. They're all really, really good. I am hoping that this one still works, because I have used this so, so many times, and I have so much fun with this thing. But, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and fold the wings down, get this thing into the air if it still works, and I'll show you guys around. Honestly, it is really, really cool. The other plane that I thought might be really good is actually the, uh, the Princess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it was out of this and the Princess. Also, there's a Water Bomber version of this. But I think I prefer this one over that. Anyway, let's get inside. And, um, yeah, get this thing started, get it into the air, and then we'll have a little look around, and we'll go from there.
Alright guys, we are going. So the wings have folded down very, very nicely. Nothing bad happened there. Uh, I am throttling up as much as possible and it is already in the sky. Honestly, I didn't expect anything else uh, other than that. So yes, it is, of course, working. That is amazeballs. I'm actually really, really happy this thing still works. Um, and again, you guys should definitely, definitely check this thing out. Okay, so what we're going to do is figure out what kind of altitude we are currently at. Where are we? 1,000. Uh, let's go with 1,350 real quick. Uh, and go ahead and turn on the altitude hold. There we go. Good. And the autopilot is going to get set to wherever we are looking, which is north. Go ahead and just shove it out there and whack it into there. Bam. Autopilot on. There we go. Fantastic. So it's going to continue in this direction uh, and fly very, very smoothly. I'm going to equip a parachute, just in case. Um, but yeah, let's have a quick little look around. I'd like to turn on all of the lights if I could. There we go, so we got some lights in here. We have a huge map table if we need to use it. There's waypoint selectors on it, there is altitude in feet. I don't remember that. I don't remember using that, but that's okay. Over here we have a radio panel. We also have access to all of the engines back here as well. Uh, just in case anything goes wrong, we can back like that, and we can turn on the generator clutch if we need to. Um, there you go. That is craziness. We have some fire extinguishers for each of the engines too. We can also refill those if we need to as well. And there are also bilge pumps, because remember, it is a seaplane. What is through here? Okay, so let's go forwards and down. Inside here seems to be a bit of a crew rest area slash rescue room, uh, where we have a bunch of rescue equipment. We can actually go at the front of this thing? No, this is an anchor. We got an anchor all the way in the front, uh, and that is pretty much everything that's in here. We can actually go downstairs too, so this is into like the bilge pump area and stuff like that. Uh, and yes, there's an auxiliary engine, which I do kind of want to turn off. Don't know whether that was a good idea, <laughs> um, but I have turned it off, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I don't actually ever remember going down there, so um, that's cool. We find we found something new that I've never looked at. Uh, if we go backwards, I believe we can get into the wings and actually walk through the wings independently, which is insane. Um, if you can actually jump through this hole, there you go. We've got firefighting equipment just in case you needed it. And yes, you could repair the engines mid-flight if you needed to. Yeah, crawling through the wings in-game is awesome. I really like that feature. Anyway, cargo bay is back here. We have little rooms on the sides as well. What is this? Oh, that's the outside. All right, cool. Don't want to go through there. Um, what is this? Stairs to observatory turret. So you can actually go up there. Okay, I didn't mean to open that either. <laughs> but that's the cargo bay door. Uh, if we go backwards from there, we actually have a sleeping quarters. If we go backwards from that, we have... I think this is like more like luggage area and stuff like that. Very cool. Very awesome. I really like it. Let's go downstairs into the actual vehicle as well. So, I think all of those are like crew areas, and this is more like uh, the passenger areas. We have a reading lamp, we have lights, we have sofas, we have a map. Amazing. Let's go ahead and continue through. We have more seats in here. It was more like a bunch of living rooms in planes. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? It is a little bit insane. We have our bunk beds and bedroom in here. That's awesome. We got more seats and dining tables and stuff like that. These right here are the floaties uh, on both sides. I don't want to get sucked out of the plane, but that could happen. More lights, more seats and stuff like that. I believe this is the toilet. Yes, it is. Don't know what this is. Oh, this is like the kitchen, the cooking area. Very lovely. And then if we go backwards from there or forwards from there, we've actually got more of a seating area. Then we can go back upstairs into the cockpit. Yes. So that is pretty much everything on the inside of this plane. It flies extremely nicely. Uh, although I probably shouldn't have to say that, or don't need to say that, because it just works. Um, but yeah, a very, very, very nice aircraft, and I really like it. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys enjoy videos like this one, where I just point out a bunch of crafts that you guys can go ahead and check out, then let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.